Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another exciting video. If you really enjoyed my home decor video that I did most recently of our future home and how we're going to decorate it and style it and all the plans that we have for it, then yeah, I think you're going to really enjoy this video as well. In that video, I mentioned several different pieces that we're going to be getting or have already gotten from Ikea. And I've had several people request this actual video of some of my Ikea finds. So before we get into it, let's tell you a few things about Ikea that I feel like you need to know before we get started. So right now, considering all that's going on in the world, their actual stores are closed, but you are available to order online. It's slightly unfortunate because there's not a lot of Ikeas around. If you're local to the area, like where I live, the closest one is Charlotte, which is two hours from me. So usually in the past when I have gone to Ikea, I kind of make a day trip out of it. We grab lunch all that good stuff, and then just kind of make it a whole day event. But here lately, I have had to order online, which tip number two can be slightly expensive. Their shipping um, is, it usually ranges between 10, 30, and upwards of like $100. I know that sounds crazy, but I think it's because they're not actually like a shipping business. Like they don't pride themselves on shipping things out. The actual goal is to have customers come in to this huge warehouse and purchase things. So I think that's why it's so expensive. It's also based on your area, how far you are from their warehouses, their stores, that kind of thing. I've had some shipments that I've only paid $30 for shipping. And then I've had, I've seen, I have not actually done it, but I put some stuff in a cart just out of curiosity. And I think it was going to be like $129 to have it shipped to me. Now, that might be expensive. I totally get that. But if you don't live in the area and you're, it's not a close drive for you, just consider, okay, how much would it cost you to drive there by the time you have breakfast, have lunch, whatever you need? How much does it, how much does it work to you, girl? Do you want to spend it or do you don't? You know what I'm saying? But I think that it also varies for people and how far they're shipping to. So uh, keep that in mind. Another tip is that if you are going to Ikea for the first time, do not go in a small vehicle. You are going to need something with extreme amount of room and storage because I promise you, you will not leave with just a few things, okay? Honestly, that's part of the reason why I think people have things shipped to them because I don't have a vehicle not a big enough to bring home all of the things that I'm going to be purchasing for our new home once it's finished being built. So I always, it's almost worth me spending the shipping and having everything sent to me. Another thing to know about Ikea is that they have a 365 day return policy. That is insane to me. So you have an entire year to decide whether or not you like something and you can return it. As of right now, with everything going on, if you order something online, you obviously you're not able to exchange it or return it in the store, but they will honor that once all of this kind of blows over and you're able to bring it in or contact them and maybe have it shipped back to them. I don't know for sure how that part works, but it would definitely be worth looking into. Ikea is basically this humongous warehouse that is known for furniture, decor, storage, household items, kitchen items. Um, I mean, they sell cabinets, they sell TV stands, they sell comforters, duvets, you name it, they've got it. All the way down to like forks and spoons and knives and storage and all that good stuff. It is a woman's dream, okay? And a part of the reason why everybody loves it so much is that everything is extremely inexpensive compared to what you would spend other places or maybe even to have something built. So now that I'm done blabbing and I've given you a few tips, let's get into a few things that I'm going to share with you. I had to write notes. I had to write notes because I can't forget anything. So the first one I'm going to share with you, I'm going to do a little bit a mixture of things that are for children and things that are for your home. And then later on, I may do a two-part series where I share more of what is going to be in the house. And then that way y'all can see all that too. So anyway, let's get started. The first one is Tatum's chair. I've mentioned this in several of my stories on Instagram um, or Facebook. He absolutely loves this chair. It's perfect for him. It's the perfect size. It's like $30, I believe. And he sits in it all the time, whether to watch TV or he likes to play with his cars, that kind of thing. Uh, another one is his table. His table has comes with two chairs. So it's the table two chairs. We use this for snack time. We use it for craft time. We use it for puzzles. Um, I'll set it up in the living room so that we can all play with it and just use it. It's very lightweight. So it's something that I constantly catch myself moving around the house. 
I can put it in the dining room. I put it in the living room. Also, I change things up in his room pretty often. If you follow along with me, you know that I do Montessori at home. So I'm constantly changing the way things look or how it's presented to him so that it continues to trigger and spark interest. So sometimes I will even move it upstairs and he really, really loves it. I will say too, they make another type of table that you can get um, and it's called a sensory table. The only reason why I haven't gotten this one is I don't want to get too excited and just buy tons of things because I can also use sensory bins, which are just like little plastic Tupperware containers that I can put on his current table. But this particular table is a table like the one I showed you earlier that I just mentioned, but you can take the top part off and then put two separate bins in them. Another thing about Ikea is that you buy a system. So say it's the Calyx system or the Billy shelves or whatever it is. It's that particular system, but then you can customize it to how you, to whatever your liking is. So for example, the sensory table, it could be just a flat table or you can buy specific bins. You can buy one bin in one size and two separate bins in other sizes or the same size that you have in the other and then customize it to what works best for you. That is what they're known for as well with a lot of other products. So that's a really good table if you're looking for something to do crafts. Sensory is basically as far as Montessori goes where you can put wet and dry things, have the child play in it. Like if you're doing the um, kinetic sand or if you want to go out and collect things at the beach, you could put seashells in one and sand in the other and have them play and learn the differences between the two and how to separate things. So that's a great option for that. Um, also, the, another really popular one is the bookshelf that y'all have seen on my Instagram that's in his room. You buy the shelf vertically, but you can use it horizontally or whatever works best for you. I love it in his room because it gives me extra storage. It gives me a way to present his toys to him, again, to spark interest so that he's learning and developing in different ways. But you can also use it as a TV stand. You can put storage baskets in it. You can also buy, I'm pretty sure this is the one that you can buy systems that you can actually put their drawers in. It's multifunctional. You can use it for many different things. It's perfect to have around the house, whether it be for your child or for you, or it may be a home office that you want to put storage in. You could put it in your closet to separate your shoes, or if you wanted to put jeans on one side and sweaters on the other, it's perfect for that. Um, also, one thing that I have already gotten him, but I did not put it together yet because since we will be moving, it's one less thing to worry about. It's a wardrobe for him. So this one, and I, I can't remember the name of everything because everything has weird names, but I'll link everything below and organize it so you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this specific one is like a four unit shelf. So rather than like the one in his bedroom that's really tall, this one is only like two, um, two tiers but you can customize it. So part like, again, goes back to you can put drawers in it, you could make a cabinet door in it, whatever you wanna buy, you buy that, partic that particular bookshelf, and then you can buy the pieces that go to it to customize it however you'd like. The goal for this one is to take one of the shelving units out so that you'll see on one side he has, um, he'll have drawers, and then on the other side, I'm gonna do the tension rods, and then I also purchased these cute little wood hangers these look big in the video, but they're actually children's size. They're the perfect little size for his clothes. They come in a pack of five. I've gotten two of them. And I think honestly, they're like $3.99 or $5.99. And I'm going to put it in his little wardrobe so that he can go up and pick his own clothes for the day and learn, you know, how to pick out his socks and his uh, shorts or pants or whatever the case may be. And then that way he has something that's his height that he's able to use and function with on his own. So that's another one. And then also I've gotten this um, mirror. So this, again, you can use anywhere. You can use it in the child's room. You could use it in your room. I don't know if you can tell, but see, I haven't opened it yet because, again, I don't want it to get messed up because it'll be for the move. But it's, see this rim here? This is actually a stand. Look at my phone. hey -o! This is actually a stand, so you can, if you want to use it for your vanity, if you have a desk or something in your room, or a nice vintage vanity or something like that, and you're looking for a mirror to do your makeup, then this is perfect for that. You can stand it up, or you can hang it up. So you can use it for yourself, or you can use it for your child to put in their room. It would be cute in a little boy or a girl's room. That's why I really like their stuff too. Everything's in this like natural wood. So no matter you have a son or a daughter, it works well for whichever gender. But this, I have the intention of hanging it up in his bathroom 
there's this one wall um, that's going to be empty and I'm going to hang it there and I'm going to put a little shelf beside it. I'll show you a picture here um, that I plan to have as his little station, his little um, like get ready station in the morning that he can see himself in the mirror. He can brush his hair, do all those good things. And again, teaching him that independence, but you do not have to use it for just your child. You can use it for multiple things. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Oh, another thing, they have these really nice storage baskets, and they are, um, you can get them in like the little plastic white ones. They're sold individually. It's a system that's like a rod, or you can buy like the ones that just hang flush on the wall. They either come in black or you can get them in white. They're two different kinds of systems. I'll show pictures, but you can use them and customize them to however you like. So a lot of people will put them in their kitchen. You can put them underneath the cabinet and organize things underneath them, or you can get the plastic bins um, that kind of have are more covered. They're not the tins, they're just plastic. And use those for your child's table that I mentioned in the very beginning of the video to put their crayons and their markers in. You can use them in your bathroom if you want to put your makeup brushes in. Like if you wanted to put it to the side of one of your walls and you could put your makeup brushes, your hairbrush, whatever your daily things are that you use. It would be perfect for that. And you can put all of these things however you like, wherever you choose to use them. They also have floating bookshelves, which I really like. Um, I think they're great for the kids' rooms. I also think, again, they're great for around the house. I love to display pictures on the wall. So I like to buy the floating bookshelves. That way it's this, it doesn't take up as much room um, and you can lean pictures. So what I like to do is I'll put the shelf on the wall and then I will take the actual picture and just lean it up against the wall. Uh, so that you're not putting as many holes in and then you can buy different size frames uh, So like this one right here is an 8 by 10. This is another good purchase from Ikea um, And you can get like an 11 by 14 and just stagger them. So they're different heights They look really good if you wanted to do something like that above a bed That's my intention for our new home. I had been going back and forth about what I was I was gonna do above our bed in the master bedroom because our bedroom has two little small windows on either side of our bed. So I really wanted to put something above our bed that would be customized. Like I really like all of the signs and stuff that you can get from Hobby Lobby and things like that, but they're just not, everybody's got them. And I want to do something that when you walk into our home, you know that it's our home and, it, and it's about us, not, you know, what everybody's got. So I had thought about getting the one of those floating shelves. I'm gonna put it above the bed. And then I think what I'm going to do, and this is inspiration from a good friend of mine, Jenny. She did this back a while ago and I saw it on her Instagram and I thought it was the most adorable thing I've ever seen. But she took the notes that they wrote to each other on their wedding day and put them in picture frames and then lay, put them on those floating shelves above their bed. And I thought that that was just so cute because that's your room, that's your space in the house that belongs just to you both. And it's just such a great way to showcase your love for each other. And I just thought that that was great. And I actually still have my bouquet so I could just kind of incorporate that in there too as well. And I just thought that was a great idea. But the floating shelves can also be used in your children's room to put their books on. Again, you can use them in your bathroom. You can use them in their kitchen. I've seen people put them in their kitchen and put little spice jars on them if you wanted to do that. And everything is so cheap. Like it's worth just purchasing it and having it delivered to your house because all of these things are so cheap. They're so functional. You can move them around however you like. And that brings me to the picture frames. These come in different sizes as well. I want to say this one's like $3.99 or $4.99, something like that. And when I got, I ordered three of them. You may have seen them in Tatum's room. I'll put another picture up of where I took some of the photos that I purchased off of Etsy. So there's a shop on Etsy that has like the alphabet and um, different animals and things like that. And I really wanted to put those in his room so that when we're just kind of piddling and he, he will walk up to the frame and he'll point at things so I can kind of teach him what they are. So I got these picture frames. These are the eight by tens and they do come in a matte frame. So if you, it would be a little bit smaller if you wanted to put, I think like, what is it? Like a five by seven. Yeah, so if you want it to be a matte frame, it would be a five by seven, or if you wanted it to be an eight by 10, it would take up the full frame. But I ordered three of them and one of them came and it was broken. And I called them and I said, hey, one of my picture frames is broken. No problem, we'll send you another one, boom. Now, another thing you need to know, it took me forever to get it because they only deliver in like certain time frames. So I think it's only like X amounts 
a month that they deliver to particular areas. So if I place an order at the beginning of the month, I'm probably not going to get it until the end of the month or the beginning of the next month. So you do have to be patient. Again, shipping out is not something that I think is at the top of their priority to like do. They really want you to kind of come into the building. So that's why it is a little bit more expensive and it does take time. Your order did not get lost. It literally will take, depending on when you place your order, either a few weeks to a month plus. But, doesn't bother me because I knew what I was getting into, you know, when that happened. So, not a huge deal. Um, another thing that they have is a storage system. And what this is, is it's a particular name. Again, I will link it below. But you can buy it in wood. You can also buy it in white. And it has little slats in it that you can insert whatever type of drawers you would like. You can do small drawers. You can do big drawers. So if you have a craft room or maybe you're a photographer and you just have things all over the place that you need to try and keep up with or maybe you know you're some type of artist and you just have things that you know are constantly getting misplaced and that you would like to organize it almost looks like a bookshelf but it already comes with the slats like a dresser does the little slats that you can insert bins you can get them in a more of a shallow bin you can get them in a deep bin and you can use them to organize a home office or if you have a playroom that you want to put your kids craft stuff in and then just kind of label it you can do that and then you can also add extensions to the end and even make like a seating area you could put books on either side it's endless the amount of stuff that you can do with it i will also um, try and show variations of photos of that and give you all ideas of everything but those are my top ones right now. He also, let me take that back. He also has his kitchen. Now, this will be the last thing I mentioned because I know I can just keep going. But um, he also has his kitchen. I got this kitchen. Mind you, he's at that age right now where he kind of loves it and he does it. He loves it. He does not But I don't mind that because I know that as he gets bigger, it's going to really, really intrigue him. And there's so many different things that people have done with these kitchens that you can use it and customize it. People have painted them. They've changed out the hardware on them. They've, I've put actual lights in mine. So like I just put the little push pin lights. I put one in the microwave, one underneath it, and one in the oven part so that I can turn them on and it literally looks like his kitchen is lit up. You can also take off the water spigot and insert a water jug, uh, which I've got. You can get them from TJ Maxx, any place like that for really cheap. And then that way they're able to actually use it as a functioning kitchen. So if you take off the water spout and replace that with like a water jug, I'll show you a picture. And then you can also take off the burner and replace it with a cutting board so that your child can learn to actually cut up their own food or if they're in the kitchen with you and they see you doing that, then you can just give them an edgeless knife and have them go and cut up their own banana. They can rinse off their dishes. They could fill up their water cup before dinner. It's just such a huge source of independence for them. And it, it can function like an actual kitchen if you kind of change things how you like, or you can just leave it standard either way. It's a great piece to have, especially for a little boy or a little girl. Either way, I think they'll definitely really enjoy it. Um, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, we'll also do another one once we get situated and share with y'all some more hacks that you can use in your home and other things that I find along the way. But these are my main ones if you want to do things around the house or in for your children. If you do follow Montessori at home, uh, I also have... Um, some you can also buy the uh, Montessori at Home book on Amazon if you are interested in that. And if you're also interested to learn more about Montessori, I would love to do a video on that. Just give me a thumbs up. Put your um, suggestions in the comments. And please be sure to give this video a thumb up. It really supports my channel. I'd love for you to subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. And don't forget to click on that little bell because you'll get notified when I upload my next video and it goes live. So you can also follow me on Instagram where I post things daily or on Facebook. My Facebook family is awesome. And I would love to have you over there. Please be sure to tell me your thoughts. I can't wait to hear them. And if you have any suggestions on things that you use or that you've done in your home, please share them with us. We'd love to know. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you enjoy this video. Until next time, okay, bye!